I already pulled the tab because I wasn't paying attention. I thought I was recording. This one is Chaos Incarnate, red black. Demon Berserker. Alright, tokens, Orgo, De Demon on Demon Ono, Creature, Freesha, Tresvesm, Let's see, Oterno, Lo, Kameko, Isabel, Vila Uns, Parasima, Um, Card, Junk. Illumente. Is that Italian? Lol. Zombie. I think it's Italian. Well, let's see if we got any Italian cards. And, uh, thank God. Angleterre. I should probably look at this shit. This is the cool shit. Oof. Geo, Kazoo, Mighty Forest. Hmm. <clears throat> this is probably the deck I'm gonna like the least. I hate demon shit. So that's our rares. Oh, cool. The nice of raid. Soaring. No swift foot boots. That's interesting. Oh. And there's our light. Wow, that's a lot of swamps. Alright, so besides the Italian fucking tokens, we'll see how this guy goes. I'll take him to Friday night and I'll get the totals done up and we'll find out. Alright, so this is the. Oh god, it's, it's already April when I'm recording this. Um, The first half. It would have been like February, January, and it's just taken me this long to get through these decks, um, various things. The Chaos Incarnate deck is probably the best deck of the set. Um, it's not my favorite way to play, but there's just some powerful stuff in here. Uh, high damage. When compared to the other ones, it slaughters the well, you know, the best deck. Um, it's the best pro deck. I think that the token one, uh, the Elmira one, is possibly stronger, um, especially for a new player, where this is more of an advanced player. The the cards in here, like I know Lightning Grease is our heavy hitter, Talisman, Blasphemous Act, right? Um, just these sacrifice plays. Cause somebody was like, we, we had a thing where someone was just, uh, we played one game and it ended up being, oh, what card is it? Type. <laughs> yeah, Dictator of the Twin Gods coupled with, uh, where is he? I go by name. Rash Taunter. 
So he'd pick a fight, creature would attack him, it would deal that much damage to him. It would then turn it back on the creature. Um you know, deals whatever de dealt damage deals that much to a target opponent. And so he would just target players. Um and he was just taking out players with it. It was nuts. Because you would just get this damage. The other creature would throw, you know, four, it becomes eight. He'd take eight, then throw that eight at a player. Well, that eight would become 16, then throw it at a player. So that combo was disgusting. I didn't even see Ob Nixilis get pulled um, in any of the games I played with this deck or whoever played it. Um, so it's an OP little bastard. There's a reason why it's like $48. Um... I, uh, of stuff in the $20 box. So this one, and I'd say the Elmira were probably the best ones. The Flyer one wasn't bad. But, uh, no, this deck was, it's pretty pimp. Like all of them, you're getting about $40, $50 worth of shit in a box. That's a $20 box. So, they're not bad buys, any of them. Uh, I do like the Professor's recommendation. You know, if you can get them for 20 bucks, they're perfect. 25, eh, 30. Eh. But given to buy all the cards in these printings is still 50 bucks. Um, yeah. Is it dictated the twin guns? Yeah. There's another one in here somewhere. There's another stupid card. The Wild Ricochet is pretty funny, too. Yeah, you can see some weird stuff crawled out of this deck, and it was fun. But with that, I thank you for watching, and you have a good day.